my name is uh, my name is Maria, and um, my mom came to visit me out in Los Angeles. And my mom's real religious, right? And I, I love my mom, um, but she was staying at this really fancy, fancy hotel, and uh, she said, "Maria, the Ritz Carlton is the kind of hotel that Jesus would run <laughs> if Jesus ran a hotel." <laughs> So, Mom, what, what, kind, what kind of comedian would Jesus be if Jesus were like a comedian? Oh, I hadn't thought of that, huh? Well, who is that kid with the red hair, Carrot Top? Because he <laughs> uses a lot of props in his act, and Jesus used a lot of symbolism in his message. <laughs> so, Mom, what, what kind of scary green sea creature of the deep would Jesus be if Jesus were like a scary green sea creature of the deep? <laughs> okay, I am not going to answer that. Now you're making fun of me. <laughs> Come on, answer the question. <laughs> but uh, I love my mom. I, I used to be a secretary, and um, I loved it. I loved the excitement. I was a, I was a temp, never go perm. Um, <laughs> love it every day I'd wake up. I didn't know if I was gonna go file in a bank, you know, or file in an office, or file in a bank office. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard for ladies now. When I was growing up in the 80s, you know, you just had to be skinny, right? Now it's like in the 90s, we got all empowered, so you gotta have muscle tone. So it's like, I'm all tired and hungry, but I gotta go work out. Uh, <laughs> I think pretty soon it's become almost impossible. Like you're gonna have to be ginormously obese while maintaining tiny little Tweety Bird ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I drive around Los Angeles a lot. That's my car sounds like. She's a good runner. And um. It seems like every stoplight, there's always some homeless guy standing there. And all these thoughts go through my head, like, I could give that guy 50 bucks. That wouldn't kill me. I could write him a personal check. He could probably cash that, write a personal check, right? He'd probably take that $50 and buy a crank, because that's how much crank costs. I saw that once on Dateline NBC. <laughs> and he'd take that $50 and get some hotel room, get himself all cleaned up, and use some social service agency, get job training, work his way up, become an office manager, hire me, ask me out. <laughs> ask me out, I say yes, because he has really nice eyes, even though they're kind of dazed and dehydrated right now. <laughs> and then we'd fall in love and we'd get married. Oh, green light. <laughs> Song. Um, if, if you know the song, join in. Um, oh, MacDonald had a pterodactyl, E-I-E-I-O, with a... 